Orr's most iconic goals, reliving the magic. If you ask any hockey fan to name one of the sport's greatest players of all time, there's a high chance that Bobby Orr's name will come up. From his relatively short career in the NHL, Orr left an indelible mark on the game and redefined the role of a defenseman. Known for his unmatched defensive skills and incredible speed, Orr scored many memorable goals throughout his career. In this video, we will take a trip down memory lane and relive some of Orr's most iconic goals. 1. The Flying Goal, May 10, 1970 One cannot discuss Bobby Orr's iconic goals without mentioning the Flying Goal. This infamous moment occurred during the Stanley Cup Finals in 1970, with the Boston Bruins facing off against the street. Louis Blues With the score tied at 3-3 in overtime during Game 4, or received a pass from teammate Derek Sanderson. In a breathtaking display of athleticism, or flew through the air after scoring the game-winning goal, propelled by Blues defenseman Noel Picard, who had tripped or just moments earlier. This goal not only secured a Bruins victory, but also gave them their first Stanley Cup win in 29 years. 2. The goal against the Rangers, May 10, 1972. Orr's next incredible goal came just two years after the flying goal. On May 10, 1972, during Game 2 of the Stanley Cup Finals, the Bruins faced off against the New York Rangers. With the score tied at 2-2, or took control of the puck in the Bruins zone and embarked on a legendary rush up the ice. From end to end, or maneuvered past Rangers players with ease, skillfully avoiding tackles and maintaining complete control of the puck. Eventually, or unleashed a powerful shot from the right faceoff circle, beating Rangers goalie Ed Giacomin and securing another game-winning goal. This goal showcased Orr's exceptional skill, speed, and hockey IQ. 3. The goal against the Blackhawks, May 10, 1970. During the same Stanley Cup final series as the flying goal, or scored another iconic goal against the Chicago Blackhawks. In Game 2, with the score tied at 2-2 in overtime, or again found himself in the right place at the right time. With the puck in the Blackhawks zone, or deftly weaved through the defense before taking a pass from teammate Sanderson. Or then swiftly lifted the puck over goaltender Tony Esposito, scoring the goal that would secure the Bruins' 4-3 victory and ultimately the championship. This goal showcased Orr's offensive prowess and agility, leaving fans in awe. 4. The Coast to Coast Goal, October 15, 1970 On October 15, 1970, Orr again demonstrated his ability to dominate the game with his incredible Coast to Coast Goal. In a regular season game against the Pittsburgh Penguins, Orr showcased his exceptional skating ability and stick handling skills. Starting from behind his own net, Orr skated through the entire Penguins team, leaving defenders scrambling to catch up. Unleashing a powerful shot, Orr scored the goal, showcasing his individual brilliance. This goal solidified Orr's reputation as one of the most dynamic and talented players in hockey history. 5. The Spinorama, January 15, 1972. While not as well known as his other iconic goals, or Spinorama goal is equally incredible. In a regular season game against the Winnipeg Jets, or mesmerized the crowd with his remarkable puck control. While being checked by a Jets player, or executed a perfect Spinorama move, fooling both the defenseman and the goaltender. With a quick release, or knitted the puck in the top corner, leaving both fans and opponents in awe of his talent and creativity. Bobby Orr's career was filled with numerous remarkable goals that showcased his unparalleled skills and contributions to the sport of hockey. From the flying goal to the spinorama, Orr's goals have stood the test of time and continue to inspire the next generation of players. His impact on the game is immeasurable, making him one of the true legends of hockey.